Hello everyone, today we are going to understand how you can extract the data or you can say scrap the data from a website. So I am just going to show you some demonstrations means how you can extract it if you have to do it by manual. So like uh, this is the website, uh, it's a Yahoo Finance website. So like if I need to look up a specific value for a specific stock like I need to check for let's suppose HCL, HCL BPO, HCL back office or whatever. So let I need to check out the value for HCL Info System Limited. So as of now the current price of this particular company is 51 rupees. In the same way like if I need to check out some other companies like to ch say Genpack or like let's suppose it might be Gitanjali. So I'll just mention that particular ticker name and the information would be reflect accordingly so like on a daily basis let's suppose i need to extract this particular information what is the current stock price okay so might be i would be having n number of tickers so these are called tickers so and on a daily basis i need to extract their current prices so i need to visit that particular sites and again I extract those things but first of all we need to understand how these values gets could be extracted so if you see this is the url or you can say the path so i'm opening a notepad file give me a moment so let's suppose i'm opening notepad a file so let's suppose this is a path this is meant for gitanjali so like in the same way like if i need to check out for hcl so like i do have hcl infosys info system back office so capturing this path as well so if i'll see so if you compare uh, both the path the thing is that up to this position the path remains same so the thing is that only this portion gets changed it might be gitanjali it might be hcl it might be genpack it might be any other company okay so first of all i need to open this particular sites and after that this would be my ticker okay so i hope you have understand a basic idea so let's see how we can extract these things uh, through uh, vba basically so i am opening my excel sheet i'm going to vba editor okay so first of all again i just want to remind you a few more things like early binding and late binding concept which i have already told you in my previous video so as of now i'm going to follow early binding procedure so for that i am adding two libraries the first would be microsoft internet control and the second would be html microsoft html library object library so let me add those uh, libraries so i'm finding it microsoft okay this would be the first library microsoft html object library i am going to tick over there second would be microsoft internet controls so i have added both both the library the select and press to okay so once uh, they gets uh, clicked so mean to say the few things which are related to these libraries gets pop up automatically i means to say you need not to take any help or you need not to remind each and everything the help would already be with you so i'm going to add a module over here so creating a sub procedure like to extract data from website or whatever the name you want to give it so this is my procedure so first of all i need to declare a variable like i'm saying dim ie as new new mean to say i'm creating a new instance for which application it's internet explorer okay so like i would be having ticker names over there so i'm mentioning ticker name and i need their current price so the thing is that over here i'll mention my ticker name so like my ticker name will be uh, hcl okay so it could be any name so i'm just entering it over there so i want uh, if it's an in hcl infosys back office then it's current price would be exhibit once i'll 
done that particular macro so might be possible i would be having n number of tickers or i need to capture any other information as well like it could be previous close it could be open it could be uh, day range blah 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 or yes could be the company name so it could be any other uh, any other value so they are later parts but first of all we need to understand how it's been working and how we can extract a single value which is coming over here so let's understand how we can extract this particular information through website reaching on a VB editor once again so dim ie as a new internet explorer taking one more variable which would be like uh, ticker name or you can say so ticker name would be my this one which is a2 so it's again of string type as string so taking it as string thereafter I'm saying uh, my a2 value needs to be put in this particular variable so ticker name is equals to sheet1 dot range a2 dot value so this value I'm putting in my ticker name next would be like I have declared my variable for Internet Explorer then I need to make it visible so for that I would mention ie dot visible is equals to true then it will make it visible and over there I need to navigate a website so for that I'm mentioning ie dot navigate which website like it would be my this website so I'm opening my browser once again I think I have closed so I'm typing once one more, more time so what is the name of that particular website uh, so I think it was finance yahoo okay so I'm taking this particular path and going over there and I'm mentioning over there so I'm deleting this thing just because it's come through my variable name which is residing in a2 so I'm saying so and my ticker name ticker name okay so this is the site this is the url that I want to navigate and after that oh, okay it might be possible if you have a I mean slow connection internet of slow connection of your internet so might be possible once you click so it the websites gets loading loading showing loading loading and something like that so if you run this macro it will run at once so I want I want the computer take a break and maybe store for a while till the time your page gets loaded so for that I'm mentioning do uh, like I'm saying do events and I'm saying loop until ie dot ready state is equals to complete again you can mention do while loop as well do loop do while uh, or you can mention not equals to uh, ready state so it's up to you but I'm taking do events over here so it will keep it ready I mean the loop going to be executed like this way till the time page gets loaded okay so page gets loaded okay after that that page would be of an HTML page the IE page like so like if you see this is an IE page or okay so you can say IE document so for that I'm going to declare a variable like I already told you when I have uh, uh, taken or uh, take two, two libraries which first would be HTML document library and the second was uh, uh, internet control library so for that I'm mentioning dim doc as html document document okay so it's up to you if you want to make it initialize on the very front okay i'll do that okay cut and paste it over there okay the second would be over here i'm mentioning set doc is equals to ie dot document okay so in place of ie dot document i would just mention doc or if you want to take any other name even you can take it okay so page gets opened 
everything has been fine but the next concept would be to extract that particular information from a website okay so I'm again going over there to that particular website so I need to extract this particular information okay so for that I need to use get element so let me check it what is this so I'm just inspecting this website right click select right click inspect element so if you say it's getting opening okay if you see uh, okay so if I'm coming over here so if you see it's uh, it could be called as their respective ID which is YFS 184 and so on so I'm just copying this thing so making it copy copy and paste it over there let me paste it over there so that I can mention this thing so again this is my ticker so I'm going to remove this thing taking this thing just because it remain constant okay coming over there and I'm saying dog dot cat element by ID just because we are extracting uh, through our ID so like this would be our ID okay this portion will remain same and after that I'm saying my variable name which would be ticker name okay so dot inner text so I'm extracting its inner text so okay so I'm putting it in a variable which is called output or if you want to take any other you can now the values would put into output and from output I'm putting it into range a2 like so if I have to put that particular value in my b2 so for that I'll mention sheet one dot range b2 dot value would be my output fine so sometime it's might possible that uh, like few apis would restrict you to open or page don't get loaded uh, perfectly so for that i can mention one more thing over here like i'm saying on error resume next or whatever and after that i want my page or the ie explorer page which i have just opened it gets closed so for that i'm mentioning i eat quit okay so let me check this thing if it's been working or not okay so let me close this page as well okay so i'm running pressing or i can take a shape as well so i'm mentioning extract current price whatever whatever <coughs> i'm putting so i'm going to assign over it assign macro so this is a macro which i'm going to assign it so click to run so waiting 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 the website gets opened might be extracted yes and it's been 51 yes it's the same price which we have looked over there so it's good to go here or like taking one more example uh, let's see if it's been working perfectly or not mm, yahoo finance opening website taking one more ticker just just to recheck whether our macro is working perfectly fine or not so let's suppose I'm taking genpack G E okay let's check Gitanjali so for Gitanjali uh, like this is my ticker name okay so the price is 47.90 pesa okay so like i'm um, deleting this thing and putting that particular value over here and i'm going to close this website so let me check it i'm just clicking over there the website gets opened and 
closed and that's it we do have 47.90 pesos which is absolutely correct so i hope you have understand this concepts and you have enjoyed this particular video thank you so much thank you so much for watching have a nice day.